Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today let me show you how to set up your D-Pack to import into Sci-Fi Flex. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to keep the naming convention the same. So the name of the folder has to be the name of the file. And today's D-Pack that we're going to use belongs to Brunya, and he's selling this on Blender Market, and you can pick this up for, I believe, five bucks, I think. I'll take it to his thing yes it is and it's called deoxyrus d-pack and five dollars purchase not bad so check it out when you can so anyway let's get started the name of the folder must be the name of the file that's in the folder exactly see how they exactly match and then when you actually launch the blender file in the outline it has to be exactly the same name as the file there as well Except for your top and bottom, it has to be lowercase, it has to be B-O-T dash, and the top has to be T-O-P dash, and all lowercase. Other than that, the same name as the file, the file that's in the folder, has to all be the same name. Okay, so I'm going to go back out here, I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm going to call it, um, oops, I'm going to call it User D-Packs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the Pro. I'm going to copy Brunya's D-Pack that's already set up and drop it in here. And I'm going to paste it. And now I'm going to launch Blender. And once I want launch Blender, I go in the Preferences and I pull down the toggle for Flex. And you'll see a master folder path. Now I'm going to delete this. And what you're going to do is you're going to link it up like a K-Pack but this will be a D-Pack. So you're gonna drive to your D-Pack. Uh, you're gonna say user D-Packs, accept, accept. And then you're gonna save your preferences and then you close it and then go to flex and it'll be in the drop down menu. Now it doesn't have a thumbnail because we don't have a thumbnail for all the custom packs. So now I'm gonna add a cube and I'm gonna select the face on the cube and I'm gonna to go to the geo generator and I'm gonna to apply to faces. And there you go. So it works. And that's how you do it. Once you get the naming convention down, everything is perfectly fine and it'll work great. So there you have it. That's the way to do it. So for another example. I'm going to launch this D-Pack. I have a whole bunch of pro that are already done. I'm going to copy these out and I'm going to paste them into the user. And then, and then I have multiple D-Packs in here. And then once I'm going to do it, I'm going to go back to Blender. Now, these are all named the same as the folder. And inside the outline is, is the same. So just keep that in mind, please. So once you do all that, you go back to Blender. And then I'm going to go to my Preferences one more time. And I'm just going to refresh this link. Because I don't think it refreshes on its own. And maybe they'll add that later. But... Just drive to it again and say, user D-Packs, accept, accept, save preferences, close the window, go to your flex, or actually I'm gonna just restart, just in case I'm restarting Blender. And uh, once I restart, I'm gonna go to my flex and there they all are in my menu. And this one, I'm gonna use Farwood. Farwood's another good one that's on Blender Market. This one's by Frank Muturi. Um, I, his, his is five bucks too, I believe. Yeah, they are all five dollars. He's got a really cool one. This is the one I'm going to be using in this demo. So check him out too. So I'm just going to add a plane. I'm going to scale it up twice. Go ahead and apply to scale. Subdivide it a few times. And just use his far wood as geo and apply. And I'm going to go to the modifier and I'm just going to make it a big city. Something crazy. And turn that on and yeah, and there you have it. So as long as you file the naming convention, that's the way you do it. And there shouldn't be any other issues after that. And if you have a problem, just watch the video over maybe a couple times and it's really easy. It's all about the naming convention. So thanks for watching the video and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.